All right, Paul. Let's have a little fun. Yeah. I must. I must take the opposite point. Okay. I must. So I'll let you control. You will drive this entire episode. Oh. Okay. You will drive it. Five free agents the Buffalo Bills currently have. You have to decide if they're getting signed or they're, go- or they're not going to get signed. I have to take the, the opposite point. Yes. She's only got 15 minutes, huh? I know. I, I will rise above, above this. This hell I made this city haunted. Let's do right. We can do the obvious one first. Okay. Levi Wallace. Oh, yeah. Levi Wallace will... Uh, he's not even restricted. He's an exclusive rights free agent. Or exclusive rights are restricted. Restricted free agent. So a team would have to offer uh, whatever tender the Bills put on him. So, it, honestly, if it's an original round tender, he'd be a fifth round tender. Late round tender. Is he, uh, is he worth he's a back. tender? He's back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's back. He's back. You're, Norman's a free agent. Uh, yeah, Levi Wallace is back. I know he got Dane Jackson, but this oh. you, have, you have secondary coaches as your defensive coordinator and your head coach. Levi Wallace is back. Which is back. why I think that he would be more valuable to another team. Uh, you talking about this year, especially with the salary cap going down, draft picks are gold. Yep. A fifth rounder, a team would take a shot at Levi Wallace after working with the cornerback whispers for three years now. Plus, you didn't get much out of the CB2 this year, right. which is why you had Norman in there. Right. You brought up Dane Jackson. Just for argument's sake, I would say if I would take a fifth rounder. Well, yeah. If, if for, the, for, for, yeah, with that restricted free agent tag, the, that's what the Bills Now, restricted do. free agent, just as a review for myself, it's first, second, and original round. Yeah, that's right. You get three a year? You, get, you, can, you can do it for three. Yeah, you get three. Can you put a second rounder on a guy? You can put a second round of in. You can. Yeah. You can choose to put whatever round tender you want on them, right? First round, second round, or original round. That's those are that's the way they're restricted three. But you do get three Yeah, yeah. Okay. You just right. can't do three first rounds. You get one of each. Gotcha. Gotcha. So I mean I would for argument's sake, I would say the Bills covet draft picks. Bean and McDermott have been able to do wonders with later round draft pick guys. I think someone would bite on uh Fifth round. And I don't think you're sad about that. No, he was no. A, he was a, could you could he play the slot on some teams that already have two corners? Maybe. Who knows? Maybe. Kansas City. <laughs> John Feliciano. Oh God. Will not be returning to the Buffalo Bills. Oh. That's my take. I'm I, I, look, I know. I know. That's why I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll fall the sword for this one. I know that this is your boy. So. Uh, you already have Mitch Morris under contract. I don't really see them trying to get out of Mitch Morris. Luciano is a very, very good player. He was brought in because OG Bobby Johnson was going to be the offensive line coach. Luciano barely played in Indianapolis. He comes to Buffalo, wins the job. They ultimately trade Wyatt Teller because Luciano wins that job. Like, John Luciano is the catalyst for a lot of stuff. <laughs> yep. But this slide is now paying Deion Dawkins to be their leader, not John Luciano. I think you're moving on from John. You're paying Seattle. Dawkins to be the leader, not Morse? You're paying Dawkins. To be, they just signed Dawkins to that contract extension. And he's, he's already a captain, so you're moving You're moving on. I wish the Buffalo Bills had the highest paid offensive line instead of defensive line. No year. kidding. <laughs> you know what I mean? Which means that that's, why, that's where the, the, the pendulum is going to shift. I think. Mm-hmm. I think with – you're going to release some players that – the Buffalo Bills fans have grown attached to. Sure. Yep. And in doing so, you're going to bring back – I mean, that line was lost before Mongo came back. Yeah, big time. Look, well, at, look at week one and look at, you know, the playoff game. Like, it's a totally different Well, no, if you one. just want to go – if you just want to go on the Kansas City game, Mongo didn't play his best. No. But you can't discount what that guy has done to that offense. Oh, I agree. Morris is one headache away. From not playing center anymore. Sure. You do have Ryan Bates. I understand that. Your boy Trey Adams is still in the wings if you want to attack him. Yeah, yes, sir. But as far as that goes, 
Feliciano, yes, the catalyst for many things. You trade Wyatt Teller, the resources you had for Teller, you were able to use for Diggs. A lot of people get upset about that. But you sign John Feliciano. He's a guy who will take a, con a friendly team contract deal to be with this team. I think I think this the culture fits him here. It oh. does. There's a lot of things that say Feliciano should resign. Three for twenty? Is that is that breaking the bank for him? I think this year, yeah. Really? Yeah, I think this year. Yeah. You mean if the cap would have went up, it would have been easier to sign yeah. him three for twenty? Yeah, if the cap goes up. I think. I think. I think you give him Spain's deal. Well, that worked out. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Who's the, which one do you want to do next? Right next to him. Daryl Williams. You know who I'm putting in the bullpen. I'm keeping in the bullpen. Ah, uh, yeah, I do. All right, um, Daryl Williams, Daryl Williams. The tackles are so bad coming out of college. <laughs> oh, my God, they're so bad. And he, he really is just one bad year and an injury away from being an outstanding tackle in this league. When he was in Carolina, had a couple outstanding seasons, one, one injury, one really poor season coming back from injury. Ah, oh God, I think they resigned him. They do. I think they do. I don't want to because I want to believe that this this offensive line is going to just continue. But I think you're going to see a shift where they're going to start spending a lot of money on the offensive line, right? You got a lot of you got to protect Josh Allen. What? <laughs> you give me the Kermit? I'm like, oh, go on. <laughs> I'm just listening. <laughs> you're signing Williams but not Feliciano. Yeah. I knew you were full on the sort of purpose. But yeah. In the narrative, in the comment section, I know. Be, I know. Paul. What? Paul. Hey, oh. do you guys see what Paul from Hashtag oh, said? I know. Oh, my God. He's I, letting Mongo go and re-signing Williams. I feel like this team is going to want to protect their future investment in Josh Allen. And I don't think you can go back to the well and tackle him. Do you know I really like Trey Adams. I really like Trey Adams. I know you drafted Cody Ford, but let's mm -hmm. be real. Mm -hmm. Let's be real. Trey Adams, in, on his best day, might play for 10 minutes like Daryl Williams during the season. Like minutes. on his best day. And I really like Trey Adams, but Darrell Williams played out of this world at times this year. I don't love spending the money on him. But I, if we're talking just a two, three year deal, yes, but I mean he's gonna want like a five, six year deal. He is. He is. He's gonna be a little bit different than Mongo in that respect. Uh Trey Adams. With the ability that this staff has not drink this way too fast, my tongue's for us. Oh my I can't, god. I, can't, I haven't I just started my I can't talk. Uh, I never could have known. The point is, uh, with the way that the staff has been able to coach guys up, you think Trey Adams would be in good hands. Yeah. Um, but it's it's the known versus the unknown. We always – Teron Johnson at one point was an unknown. Matt Milano at one point was an unknown. You know what I mean? So, that being said, I have to take the – they're not signing him. Yeah, you have to take the – they're not signing him. I'm going to take the not signing Daryl Williams approach because the you already, in my mind, you're signing Mondo. Yeah. The, the fallout of you saying that they're going to not sign Mondo and sign Williams means you like Cody Ford. No. No, it doesn't. He doesn't. I'm no, I, that's not what that means. But the point being is this. I think the money that it would take you're already going to sign Feliciano. Yeah. You're not going to sign Williams because the money it would take to sign Williams, as you said, it's already gone. Yeah. It's for a longer deal, deal, will be going to our fourth person that we're going to be discussing. Oh, okay. Matt Milano. Uh, now, yeah. I know I already jumped out of you, yeah, but they're re-signing Milano. Yeah. All right. So, and why? But why? I think they're re-signing Milano for a lot of the reasons that you stated throughout the year and a lot of the reasons for his fit in the defense. Now, you could do a lot of different things with Milano in the, in the defense if he's healthy. Mm -hmm. And I know he had some you know struggles throughout his career staying healthy. But a guy that size, that speed, that coverage, a bunch of things that he could do. He could stop the run. He could stop. He could. He can man up on a tight end. Now, please do not take the Kansas City game as the barometer you're going to test uh, Matt Milano on. Nobody covers Kelsey. Well, yeah, Evans ever. tried to. There are corners that can't cover him. I mean, Trey had a little trouble with him, okay? So, the things that Leslie Frazier and Sean McDermott want to do in that defense, Milano allows you to do it. 
And to your point that you mentioned during the season, when you Edmonds is just a different animal when you have Milano next to him rather than Dotson or Klein or anybody else. I just think to protect your first round investment, that fifth round investment, you have to make an investment. So, like, you're telling me that Matt Milano is like the emotional support animal for Tremaine Edmonds. That's what I'm getting from you right now. You're gonna pay, you're gonna spend some money on Matt Milano. I know, and just as Feliciano is the emotional support animal <laughs> for the whole way. <laughs> so Milano not being resigned. Okay, I, I I can do this, Paul. You can make this <laughs> argument. Okay. Oh Excuse God. You. <laughs> Fear farting over here. Okay. Matt Milano not being re-signed. Can you do it? I can do it. I can do it. All right. It's a 15 minute show. <laughs> so Matt Milano is not being re-signed for a very simple argument. You have Isaiah McDuffie and Max Richardson, both who were top six in tackles per game, both from Boston College. You know how McDermott loves his Boston College boys. There's a, there's a bunch of linebackers come out from Boston College and actually really good. Um, but I I think for me being let's Milano test the market and I don't think this is a they're not going to try and resign him. I just I have a feeling one team is going to say we need speed at the linebacker position. We don't have the ability to wait to develop a player. We need we need him to come in and play right the second. So a team that feels like they're close. So I'll give you an example Tennessee. Tennessee is a team that would love a player like Milano because they don't have time to wait because that defense is getting off. They got Evans. You're right, but put Milano next to Evans. That's that's what I mean, right? Chicago? Uh, next to Rokon Smith with Khalil Mack. <laughs> yeah, so, so you see you see the problem, right? You see where, you see where this goes. I think the, the long and short of it here is you let Milano test free agency because you, you've you think that you're going to be able to get him back because of his injury history, yes. because he's a little undersized. He's kind of an yes. odd scheme fit for a lot of teams, right? He, 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 is. he is your Talvin Smith. He is he your is. Mark Barron. He he's is. a weird fit. Yes. Not every team, a, a lot of these old school guys are not going to be inclined to want to add Milano because of his size, but he's a football player and he's going to get a deal that Buffalo is not going to be able to match. And that's going to be why you're not resigning Matt Milano. It's not because you don't want to, but you're willing no, to take the risk. And I think that's what you have to do. Listen, if I need to pay Matt Milano to make Tremaine Edmonds good, do I really want to pay Tremaine Edmonds? I, I, when you're talking about two upcoming years where the cap's not going anywhere, yeah. you, you have to be more careful with your money than you investing do. it in something that is the shiny, fun object. Yeah, you know? and you, like, you, like we said before, in a couple of years, you're going to have to figure out. You're going to, a lot, a lot of, you're going to have to delegate a lot of money to Allen and Edmonds. So yep. That's yep. why having multiple first-round picks sometimes isn't good. Yeah. That's right. But Cleveland did the same thing. Remember oh, they loaded geez. up on first round picks and then they're three years down the road. They're like, oh, we can't afford any of these guys. All right. Last but not least, we Isaiah have... McKenzie. Everybody's talking about Isaiah McKenzie because he had the greatest three games of his Bills career at the very end. Right? I Isaiah mean, he'll McKenzie. be cheap. The Bills got him on waivers. They were able to play the restricted free agent game with they him did. for a long time they and did. exclusive rights free agent. I think he signed him for two years. Okay. I think he signed for two years. Okay. Counterpoint to that, yeah. Under Roberts is also a free agent, yeah, right. So are you? So that means you're you're gonna sign. You're not gonna you're not gonna bring them both back. So you're saying that you're gonna sign McKenzie over Roberts. Well, they like insurance policies, but I don't think you'll sign both. Yeah, that's what I mean. You're not getting both. I mean, so you're gonna say McKenzie. <clears throat> McKenzie will be cheaper because he's he's not a formal Pro Bowler. Okay. Roberts, I don't think, I don't think either one of those guys have a huge impact on the offense. Mm-hmm. But McKenzie's was bigger because he was replacing. I'd like to replace you. Um, he Road was a- rage is the next episode. Mark. He was able. <laughs> he was able to replace Beasley in the one game, and he played very, very well. He showed you he could do certain things in there. But I mean, I say you resign him because I think it's going to be cheap, or he's going to be cheap, and. Um, he does fulfill multiple roles for you. I don't think you bring Isaiah McKenzie back because you got him off of waivers, and you don't. I don't think this team is all about replacing, like resigning those guys. They make guys like Isaiah McKenzie every year, 
undersized, speedy guys. <clears throat> and I have a feeling when Buffalo talked about wanting to add more speed, McKenzie is very fast, right? But he's not laterally quick, and I think Buffalo kind of missed that, right? I don't think McKenzie – you take – go ahead, take a look at Tyreek Hill and take a look at Isaiah McKenzie. They're oh God. different Is Anybody that compared to Hill is going to be – I understand that, but I would expect Buffalo to look for a player that fits Hill's mold and move on from a player that fits McKenzie's mold. That's the the only saying. guy you really run jet sweeps with, you say he has no lateral movement? He's running straight. If it's a jet sweep, Mario, it's your homie. He's still going to cut it up inside sometimes. Yeah, at a 25-degree angle. He's got a lot of room, Mario. He's got a lot of room. What I'm saying is that if you're going to look to replace a player, McKenzie is a player that you can find other places. That skill set, you can find other places. There's a lot of undersized, speedy receivers. Hey, you can, find, you can find undersized, speedy linebackers now. Why do we even need to sign Milano? Hey, you're the one that said they were going to re-sign Milano. I think they will. Well, I think there's one thing. Put a nice little bow on this. Sure. Not all five are coming back. No, sir. Unfortunately. No, sir. Just the way that the business that the NFL games are used. I will rise above, above this. This hell.